Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Meninil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It is very much appreciated. I'm just going to do a reading for Scorpio. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. Okay. All right, Scorpio, I just want to um, have a bit of a chat before I start the, the reading. Um, I did have a song that came to me and it's by Miley Cyrus and I think it's called It's the Climb. Okay. And there's a verse in it that says it's not about how fast you get there. It's not about what's waiting on the other side. It's it's the climb. And the climb is actually the journey. The journey that everybody in this world will, will be taking at one point or another in their life. And we all have a similar journey. You know, we all find love. We all find happiness. We all find suffering. We all find um, pain. Um, but it's how you want to handle that pain, okay? Um, see, the thing is, Scorpio, what you don't realize is that you're all about death and transformation. So your pain will always be harder than everybody else's, okay? So you have to find a way of shifting that pain. And that pain is shifted by um, listening to maybe uplifting music or meditation or removing yourself from an environment that no longer works for you. There's so many uplifting songs out there that you can listen to instead of listening to songs that make you feel sad, okay? Um, Cher's got a strong um, called I'm Strong Enough, you know. The the Climb is, is another song, okay? And there's, there's so many ways of shifting that energy that keeps you tied and attached to people that have done you wrong. Because Scorpio, you are never the victim. You are, always, you are always the lesson to this other person, okay? And and it's a hard journey for Scorpio. People don't realize how hard it is for a Scorpio because we can hang on to things for a long period of time. We can get in our heads. We can make up a thousand scenarios and, and ask a thousand questions to why, okay? But at the end of the day, if you can focus your energy more on people that support you um, to put yourself into hobbies, social groups, surround yourself with better energy than the energy of that person that did you wrong, okay? Because when you go into a relationship, Scorpio, when you know that that's your person, you will give 100% to that relationship. But others won't. Others won't. And you need to, in a way, I know I'm a YouTube reader, but in a way you need to stop listening to a lot of tarot readers um, talking about people that are coming back from the past. It is not a personal reading. Um and if you are going to have a personal reading, at least have a reading with somebody that has a bit of mediumship because spirits will always see what you don't see, okay? Now, I remember a long time ago, I had a fella on the phone talking to me and I was kind of like the last point that he reached out to uh, and I just started on, on a hotline when he rang me and I gave him a story and I said to him and I asked him, if you had a time capsule, would you go back and fix what went wrong or would you move forward? And his immediate reaction was, I would go back and fix. And that would be probably 80% of people's reaction to go back and fix what went wrong. And I turned around and I said, oh, if only you could see what is waiting for you that you would never go back. And that's the mindset that you have to have, Scorpio, that... Life is still a journey. You will meet others. People will hurt you. Take the lessons, okay? What did you learn from it? You See, the problem with Scorpio is that we're so giving that we give too much, okay? A person that wants to be with you, will grow with you, will give you that attention, will be loyal to you, will make plans with you, will create a future with you. A person that wants to play around with your energy, you need to stop it because you keep thinking that things are going to get better. You keep thinking that things are going to work themselves out. Oh, we're just going through a bit of a spat. No, you're not. 
it's a warning sign it's a red flag okay and you got to see those red flags and you always need to trust your gut don't don't hesitate don't think that things are going to get better you need to speak up speak up straight away either end it finish it move on take yourself out go join a, a dancing group listen to music surround yourself with with beautiful people there are a lot of beautiful people in the world it is not the end of the world it was just a journey it was an experience an experience that hurt you badly now we need to shift our energy we need to shift our mindset okay because nobody and I, i'm telling you now nobody handles handles it better than a scorpio and you might think this is painful you might think i didn't deserve this well you didn't deserve it okay but take the lesson that you learned from that and don't don't do it in your next journey okay because you are the teacher at the end of the day you are the teacher okay and that's why you're born a scorpio because you can handle it don't think that you can't you can you will come out of it it just takes you a little bit longer because your curiosity of why when how and and you know what the hell happened it doesn't serve you at the end of the day say goodbye sweep it out the door cleanse your home cleanse your energy and move on there will always be the right person that eventually comes into your life okay anybody from the past should just stay in the past okay I hope you got that message loud and clear but go listen to that song it's not about how fast you get there it's not about what's waiting on the other side it really is the climb it really is the journey and i had a friend of mine that was talking to me about spirituality and i'm no guru but i can tell you that from the time that you're born till the last day on earth that is your journey that is your spiritual journey and you will learn from the time that you're born to the day that it's done who was good for you, who was not good for you, the things you learned along the way, the lessons you learned along the way, the people you met along the way, you know. And you take those those lessons that you learned and you, you turn them into stories to teach other people, okay? A lot of tarot readers are reading out of their own experience, okay? So at the end of the day, life will still go on okay your journey is not at an end the time capsule taking you back will not change anything because it's it's part of your destiny to learn experience move on and that's the hardest thing for you to do but i truly believe that by the end of june early july a lot of scorpios are going into a shift and that shift is going to put you on another path okay and it's up to you to to let go and say i accept my next my next journey okay so according to these two cards that fell out you will go into an empress energy whether you're male or female and that is an empress that has learned her lessons that has taken those lessons and is teaching them to other people who is becoming very wise and very knowledgeable and very intuitive and this person here has learned not to chase anymore but to attract and you will be attracting something that is coming into your life whether it be a person um, or the next part of your journey it is starting in July and this is when you're going to go through this healing process you will heal okay now I, I am getting messages of people that, that are just sick and tired of life and some are, are feeling like they want to end it and it's not the end of your journey, okay? You've got something beautiful coming your way. Everybody has something beautiful coming their way. A, a wise man once said to me, even Noah put one of each on a boat. So there is somebody that is destined for you in this lifetime. It's only you who chooses to be on your own. But there are people out there that are just waiting and dying to meet somebody like you. Okay? All right. So we will we'll be turning our back on things that no longer serve us. Some of us are taking a journey, are taking a trip, are distancing ourselves from 
from all the things that no longer serve us in our life, okay? Now, every now and then, your mind, your mind will travel back. It will travel back to that person, but eventually it starts to fade away and it just becomes an experience that you learned from. And when you do that, Scorpio, this is the offer that is going to come in, okay? Now, in the past, you have accepted low-life offers, okay? You've accepted being in third parties. You've accepted um, taking on people because you felt lonely. You've accepted giving other people a try, okay? Um, but it, it hasn't worked out because these are not the people that are meant to be on your path for a long period of time. They're, they're what I call ins and outs. They come in, they teach you something, you learn something, and they're gone. Okay? And a lot of these people that come into your life and you being um, an empath, Scorpio, you will attract the narcissist. Number one person you're going to attract is going to be the narcissist, the liar, the player. Okay? So you need to use your own discernment when it comes to relationships listening to tarot readings on youtube is only going to confuse you because they're generally based okay so if you're going to have a, a a reading choose somebody that knows what they're talking about choose somebody who's got a good reputation you know word of mouth you know somebody who has a bit of mediumship or would go in would be the best person for you scorpio because you need spirit to talk to you. They see things that we don't see. And, you know, that is what really you should be looking for is somebody that does have a bit of mediumship, okay? And and personal readings, not, not YouTube. YouTube is just a guide, okay? So, in saying that, Scorpio, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. I don't remember if I said that in the beginning, but... Okay, don't make the story fit. And yes, I do say he or she, but you can vice versa that if you want to. Okay? All right, Scorpio. So I do see that eventually, you know, that you will take this new journey that's coming into your life. Okay? There will be plans. There will be plans to travel. You're, you're, you're setting out. You're looking at a map. You're looking at where can I go, you know, where can I go? Where can I follow the sun? Follow the sun, follow the water, you know, and just get yourself, um, you know, away from all your all your troubles, okay? All right, so we do have plans here, Scorpio, and we do have you turning your back and, and healing, okay? And I do see that, you know, if you look at this card, this person has got their arms folded. You're not accepting low-life relationships anymore, Scorpio. You're not accepting the bullshit. You're coming in as the wounded warrior, but you are going to heal and you are going to get better and you are going to be focusing on, you know, your next journey, okay? Um, you may have built a wall around your heart, but it, the wall will eventually come off, okay? It will come down. It's, it's not that strong, that wall. It's just you wanting to protect yourself from any more hurt. But you're willing to give something another go in life, okay? All right, so we have the ending, we have the world, and we do have travel that is coming up for you, okay? And travel is, is part of what is going to heal you to remove yourself from that environment. Justice is going to be in your favor, okay? And I do feel that, um, you know, whatever it is that didn't work out for you, there is something that's coming you will be dealing with your emotions, especially when you turn your back on the things that no longer serve you. And there is a better offer that is coming in, okay? Not this other offer. Look at the difference between this offer and that offer. This offer, you're not reaching out to it because this offer can come from many other narcissistic people in your life, okay? But this offer here is one offer and that's to you. Okay, so this other offer here is offers that there will be other people involved in this relationship. Okay, so you're not accepting that. But this is something that is coming in for you and it's a beautiful offer. There's emotional connection in this offer. Okay, and maybe you'll have a choice of two. 
maybe you'll have a choice of two people, but you're trying to decide, is this offer going to be better for me or, or not better for me, okay? Um, and I do feel that there's also a job offer that is coming in. Whoever you were dealing with in, in the past was certainly meeting up with other people, okay? Um, you weren't the only one that had choices, but this is also a job offer, a contract that is coming in for you, okay? Something that is going to make you very happy. With the Nine of Cups, you are at a completion now. So set a target for the end of June to come the 1st of July that you should find ways of changing your life and like i said go join a social group go learn how to how to dance even you know you'll meet people through there and they have social groups through their dancing you know and things like that but this is a completion and justice is going to be in your favor scorpio so there is a cycle that is ending but there is a cycle that is going to begin for you okay and i do feel that you are going to come out of feeling left out in the cold. There is helpful people there um, around you. And, you know, use the energy of people that have good energy. Use that to uplift you, okay? You have a change, a, a tower moment that is coming in, okay? And the change is either going to be for the for the better or, or not. But, you know, I feel like the change is because you're coming out of this struggle of head over heart. You're coming out of um, not being able to make a, a decision. And the change is that you're going towards a passionate new beginning, okay? And I do feel that, you know, work-wise, it is also going to be good. I do feel that you will take charge of your life. We've got the Empress and the Emperor. So I feel that there will be a person that's coming into your life that is not only going to take charge, but is also going to um, build a life with you. I do feel that they're going to build a life with you. So you will be blocking anybody else that has no need to be in your life, okay? All right, so this person has been watching you for a while, and I do feel that they have a lot of passion towards you with the King of Cups here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, I do feel there will be a lover's connection here um, and you could be dealing with two people and they could both be fire signs. I've got an Aries and I've got a Leo and this could be the choice that you're going to make. Which one are you going to choose? The Aries, the Leo, it doesn't have to be but I feel like that they're very successful people. I feel like that they're um, and you know what? The person you walked away from could have been an Aries or a Leo but this is not a past person. This isn't a new person. Okay, and not everybody is the same, but something's coming in and something's coming in very fast. Fast communication, okay? Transformation is coming in, Scorpio. Something is changing within you, a transformation. When Scorpio goes through death and transformation, it is very, very painful. It is very painful. It's almost like the, the butterfly that comes out of the cocoon, but then it comes out to something beautiful. And this is who you are, Scorpio, okay? You will be releasing these heavy burdens. You're going to drop those wands. You're going to drop them. You're not going to keep carrying them. And the transformation is going to help you do that. And you are manifesting and the universe is listening, okay? So whatever is coming into your life, Scorpio, um, it's not going to be as bad as it was before. But you are mentally tied and trapped to something that happened to you between you and a lover, you are mentally tied and trapped to that, okay? Um, you may have found out that this person was in another commitment. You may have found out that they were connected to other people, but this is also telling you that there's a commitment coming in for you and it may be coming in very, very fast and you will have reason to celebrate Scorpio, okay? But the reason why you ended this past um, person is because there was other interferences, there was other people, and there was too many, too many cooks in the kitchen, okay? And I do feel that there will be a lot of truth and clarity, okay? And, and you will realise what is true and what isn't. And once you realise what the truth is, that's it. You're done. It'll, it'll be over. Even in your mental state, it'll be over, okay? So, you're destined 
to have the Ten of Pentacles. You're destined to have money in your life. You're destined to have a home and you're destined to have a partner. When that comes, only God knows, okay? Not a tarot reader. Tarot readers don't know. We can estimate when it's going to come, but it doesn't mean it's going to, all right? So we have a conversation that is coming in. Um, we also have judgment, which is Scorpio card, and we have the Ten of Cups, which is happiness, all right? Now, you're thinking you're never going to find happiness. You're thinking, I'm never going to have this in my life. I'm never going to have that partner. I'm never, this is all mental thoughts, okay? Um, but the truth is, Scorpio, that you've got the Ten of Cups and you've got the Ten of Pentacles. So stop, think, you know, listen to your inner voice and stop giving yourself doubt, okay? If anybody can do it, it's going to be a Scorpio. All right, we have somebody that is coming in that is actually quite wealthy, quite stable, has a good job, okay, has a high profile job even, um, doesn't have to be, but it's a job where they're in charge and there's your offer. There's your offer, Scorpio, okay? But to get this, you have to release what is holding you back from accepting and opening up your heart to other people, okay? It's not the end of the world, all right? Um, you know, there's a there's a lady figure here, and I say lady, it doesn't have to be, but I'm, I'm getting more of a, a mother figure, an older woman, somebody who will give you good advice, okay? Somebody that will help you deal with your emotions and whatever this connection is that's coming in, Scorpio, it gives you everything that you want. There's even an emotional connection. This person is willing to move forward with you, okay? Now, we do have somebody that wants to apologize to you, Scorpio, for the way that they treated you. Um, but I feel like that this person is only coming back to create confusion for you. All right? They still have options. Do not take this person back. Keep moving forward. You know, I mean, use your own discernment. But if you take them back, you're not going to heal. You cannot heal from the person that, that hurt you. You can't. Okay, they're coming in to heal from you. But while they're healing from you, they're destroying you. So be careful, Scorpio. Okay, they're coming in to make you feel stuck again. All right, because they see you moving on. They see you single. They see you happy. They see that you, you're having everything that, that you want. Okay, so choose a new direction, Scorpio. Just choose a new direction. For some of you, this person in the past, you found out that they, they got somebody pregnant while they were seeing you. And that is very painful for you also, okay? And this could be the person that wants to apologize to you, but this person just wants to keep you stuck. Move on. They have a child, let them go look after that child. They're irresponsible. Imagine if you were the one that had the child. Are they gonna be there for you? Are they gonna be there to look after that child? No. So what are you hanging on to? What are you hanging on to? Okay. They're coming in and they will just hurt you again. So you need to move on and you are going to move on and you are going to move forward. Okay. And you are going to be taking off the, the blindfolds that are keeping you at a crossroad. This person still has a third party. So no, they're, they're not coming back to give you anything better. Okay. There's the beautiful new love offer that is coming in. Be patient. Wait for this. This is not someone that you know. This is somebody new, okay? Somebody who's willing to put in the hard work and effort, okay? Just don't allow all these people that are involved in your life to stop you from taking your next journey. So use your intuition, Scorpio. You know that this person has a lot of secrets. You know that this person has a lot of secrets, okay? It is somebody from your past. So this person from the past is only coming back to hurt you again. All right. They may come in and give you the illusion of a stronger offer. Um, and I'm willing to put in the hard work. But there's other people here. And they're, they're, uh, I'll be honest with you. That there was people that did not want this relationship to come together. Okay. There's always been a blockage. But use your own intuition, Scorpio. Okay. You got success that is coming your way. You're looking at your future. You're looking at 
and a, and a new person okay one year from now Scorpio I guarantee you your life will be different if you put in the work and you will walk away from things that no longer serve you and you will walk towards something better but something better is coming in and it's coming in as somebody who is quite stable who's emotionally available who is willing to put in the hard work and that's what you want you want your happiness Scorpio Things are going to be illuminated to you about this person's past, about their toxic behaviour. You're going to find out. Third party, past person, the devil card, okay? Go for the equal give and take, Scorpio. Go for a wish fulfilment, okay? You've got a connection that is coming in, a connection that is going to be beautiful, very beautiful. And this person will come forward. You will meet this person and yes, you might be in your head, am I ready? Am I ready for this talk? Am I ready for this connection? But there's your victory, Scorpio. You do have a victory, okay? No more player energy, endings of those cycles, not allowing people that don't, um, you know, uplift you in your life to come into your life anymore. So the change is coming in and it's not the end of the world, Scorpio. Your life is not over. You've got... You've got a, a long jeopardy and, and a long journey in front of you. And I know that it all looks very grim right now, but you are going through a healing process. But take some steps. Don't be on your own. Don't overthink things. I know nighttime is the hardest part. You're finding it hard to sleep, but that eventually will disappear. And whoever this person that's coming in to help you and to show you what love really looks like, okay um that's the person you're going to choose at the end of the day you're not choosing this past person that's going to come back regardless of of how you felt for them you will give this new person a try and you will put an end to everything that no longer serves you no more repeated patterns okay the secrets are still there scorpio go through your grief and loss go through it it's it'll be worth it at the end okay somebody will rush back but they're still sneaky they are still sneaky they're still trying to get away with something so you have a soulmate connection that is coming in and it is a new person that will take you on to calmer waters okay so focus on your home your stability your finances be patient just take some time out you know make some plans okay and then take a leap of faith okay because you will be stronger at the end of the day scorpio okay somebody is going to send you a message but you're going to ignore it you're going to ignore it you're not going to reply to it you will block this person because they just want to keep you stagnant just for their own for their own pur purpose okay so accept new love in your life scorpio accept new people into your life go out enjoy life we only have one life to live make the best of it scorpio okay and don't let people keep you stagnant keep you stuck some of you are going back home to your family to your friends um moving away from this person completely okay and bang a new person will come in but i'm feeling the shift scorpio so be prepared end end of june um the beginning of july it's like happy new year scorpio the next six months is just going to be clearing out and 2025 will be a beautiful year for you but um you have to allow people into your life scorpio you cannot withdraw you cannot go into hermit mode and just you know close yourself off and continue thinking thinking and thinking okay when you go to bed at night play meditation music or play play a prayer or you know um you know sage your house or do whatever it is that that needs doing okay but be happy just be happy shift your energy i know it's really hard for you and it's the hardest for you to do especially you know heartache okay but it will go away and there will be somebody that is coming into your life. And I don't feel for a lot of you, it's that far away. But definitely one year from now, your life will be completely different. And you will look back and think, what was I hanging on to? Okay. Just trust me on that, Scorpio. And I wish you all the best and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.